What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're just doing a quick video about all known information. Now look, I know there's some stuff floating around out there and obviously it seemed to have come from some sort of event, a community event or whatever that was on um, with information and then obviously it kind of changed and I know that a lot of people have a lot of questions about a lot of things that are going to be happening with V3.2. But I'm going to give you all the official information. We're also going to take a look at getting your free coins if you are a PlayStation member. And of course, we're going to talk about all confirmed stuff. And I'm going to give you a couple of opinions on what I think will come. So it's a very talk-centric video today with not much gameplay. So settle in and uh, let's get straight into it, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about is all the information that we already have at our disposal, right? So we do get 100% confirmation as of about an hour ago. We got an in-game message to say that we do have the confirmed uh, date for a V3.2. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks back, I actually guessed this date. It wasn't really that hard to guess because, number one, um, the reason why I kind of guessed it, I've gone over this a bit, but we did have the match pass ending on the 7th of the 12th. We also have the eFootball League, as you see here, that is ending on the 12th as well. Um, so all of these dates were kind of lining up with the 7th of the 12th. You had, your match you had the match pass ending, you had the phase resetting in Division 1 here, and of course you also had um, the packs. Some of the packs and the, the objectives and stuff were going to be recycled on that date including the new packs that you have here, the nomination contracts, there's only one day left in them, so that means obviously they're finished on the 7th of the 12th as well. And last but not least, we had the actual packs themselves, that the first round of packs, Bayern Munich, you've got also uh, AC Milan and Arsenal, they're all ending. So we do have 100% confirmation now, um, even though it was rumored for a long time, we kind of had put two and two together. This is the official date released by Konami. I know there was a couple of dates floating around um, from different people, but this is it this Thursday, and we don't have any like concrete information as to what's coming, but we'll get into that if you haven't watched any of these videos before. We'll get into that, right? They also talk very interestingly about a token of our gratitude for the continued support. All users that have installed the update will receive a chance deal. After installing the update, log into the game and access your inbox by the 11th of the 12th to claim the chance deal, and you can use that chance deal for a week. So I reckon, obviously, because it's going to be only valid until the 14th, you will get a free chance deal, and you'll have a week to obviously spin for it. Obviously, you just get it straight away into your inbox. I reckon, myself, this is going to be a legend. I reckon this is going to be either a free legend or a free booster, uh, maybe a low-rated legend or booster, uh, similar to what they used to do at kind of the launch of the veteran bonus from, you know, PES 20 to 21 with um, my club, right? So I reckon that because it's going to be a weekly thing, maybe and hopefully it will be a free legend or a free booster if they are introducing new types of boosters, right? Rega uh, on from that, right, we're actually going to talk about the new updates coming. Let me just change this here. Uh, I'm not being very professional here. But anyway, we will be releasing. This is from the official website as well. So that's just confirmation of the same message in game that we already have that we just went through. And we also want to talk about some of the changes, right? So this information has been out there since the 28th of November. But just to go through it again for, to bring people up to scratch uh, and up to date, because I see a lot of information. Listen, lads, we all love rumors. And we all like, you know, leaks or whatever. Um, I personally, like, there's so much stuff in the database and in the code of the game and stuff like that with no date on it that it's very easy to just throw everything at a wall, see what sticks, and then say, yeah, I was right about this, I was wrong about this, they changed this, they changed that. This is the confirmed stuff. So just to bring you up to date with that, and we'll get into kind of like what I would like to see, right? They are introducing a co-op player v player events, right? Co-op will be added to events and you can casually participate on your own or team up with friends to play against each other. Essentially what this reads like to me is co-op matchmaking. You can go into a match with two teammates or one teammate and you're going to be matchmaking the same as you matchmake in divisions. That's what it makes kind of more sense. That's basically what it has to be, man, because they said they wouldn't really introduce this as an actual bullet point and do the update on the website here if they're just going to say you can casually participate on your own or team up with friends to play against other teams, right? That's already in the game. Um, so I reckon this is going to be matchmaking. We also have the renew contract option with GP. So finally, we'll have a use for GP. Obviously, the free player prog progression reset is still in effect um, and that's gone now so that is going to be back but i reckon that we'll uh, we'll get into that again in a, in a few more episodes a few more videos we also have existing contract renewals users will be able to renew players using gp as we said 
and unskippable goal celebration. So if you score a banger of a goal, you'll be able to watch it now once a, once a, a game, right? This is where they talk about the, the eFootball League revamp. So we've seen different changes and adjustments that already made to that um, from uh, my club to Dream Team. But now within eFootball itself, right, personally speaking, where I'm at in eFootball at the moment in terms of my uh, eFootball League is going to be here, right? So in my Division 1 at the moment, once you get to Division 1, then it's all about rating. So we are currently, you know, current rank is 2,733 in the world. We have a 79% win ratio, 26 wins, 5 draws, 2 losses. Um, but like, there's literally nothing to play for once you get to Division 1. So what they're going to be now doing, I think, is kind of like streamlining that and obviously adding more rewards for the upper tier guys that is going to be kind of like you know, more bang for your buck when you get up to those levels. Because listen, if I'm going to sit there and, and grind 50 matches or 30 matches or whatever I grind, and I'm in Division 1, going to be coming up against Division 1 guys all the time, whatever rewards I get, I'm going to earn. Trust me on that. Because anyone that gets to Division 1, it's not difficult to get to Division 1 if you play, you know, exactly to win all the time. But actually getting up the rankings, it can be difficult because you're playing against guys that are probably, you know, playing the game a lot more than you, um, you know, that are playing the game a lot more regularly and that are, you know, having the same team all the time with no experimentation, you know, and that are just really good at the game, which which is what a lot of it boils down to. Um, so I reckon that they'll kind of change the ranking system. What I would personally like is that if you get into the top 100 in your divisions, right, do away with the current ranking, right? Do away with the ranking, you know, rank one all the way down to where I'm at, rank 2,733, or even down to rank 10,000, wherever you are in division one, right? Do away with that and literally go back to like a more localized version of it, that when you get into a division, you complete out that division in the phase and then you go into a cup. Before you get advanced to that, you go into like a cup um, or an online cup where it's like three cups a day that you can enter or three cups a weekend you can enter at any different time or different times you go in you match make within that cup and you know say it takes four matches to get to the grand final and then you get a big reward so you're the division five cup champion and then you get promotion up to division four regardless of your result in the cup you've already confirmed that so kind of like a champions league style spin-off to the division so you win your domestic which is the league and then you go on to challenge into a cup format right but again that's just me kind of thinking out loud right we also hear about this as well so we have the ability to train dream team players in training so if you want to use one of your boosters you in training you can't at the moment but you will be able to in the future and then we also before i get into everything we also want to talk about at the moment now we do have within this uh within the ps ps store at the moment we do have a new, if you are a PlayStation uh, member, you simply have to search for eFootball here. If you search for eFootball here and you find it, you will go down here to the PlayStation Plus add-ons and you will have your December bonus. So this is 300 free coins that you're going to get. You're going to get 300 coins here and you're also going to get 23, 23 by 4,000 trainer programs. So if you go into this, right, obviously as a member, uh, a PlayStation Plus member, you can just get that. Um, once you get that you can go back to the game once that's purchased go back to the game and i'm doing it in real time here go back out to the main menu you will see that i have no coins here let me just change my face here one second take off this so you will see here that within this here um i have zero coins so once you go in there sometimes you can either restart your game or else you can go into like contract you can go into special players and you can go into purchase eFootball coins. And then that should activate it here, as you'll see here in a second. So I've gone from having zero coins. It will just do a little bit of loading to test everything once you go back out to the main menu. And it should pop up here now. If not, you just have to restart your game. There we go. 300 eFootball coins. And we also get the 4,000 trainers. And that's going to be in our inbox. Once we go in here, that's it. And we go from zero to 300. And we also get our trainers. So that's just for PlayStation Plus members from the PlayStation Plus menu, um, if you guys want to do that and get those free coins, if you are a PlayStation member, right? So lads, listen, there's a lot of information out there, right? We could look at leaks, we could look at people talking and, you know, as I said, throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks. There's no doubt about it that there is information out there. I personally think that they will release information, um, you know, before the game comes out or else they'll just drop everything, right? I think co-op matchmaking is a huge thing, especially for me. I'm going to have really good banter with that because we'll be able to, like, you know, get two teammates in for a stream 
and then just match make randomly match make without having to organize it and being a little bit more competitive than what it is at the moment i think we're going to get boosters we're going to get double boosters on cards we're going to have special players that are able to be given a booster i reckon we still have no information on the new mode my league that's going to be coming so that's obviously going to be something that is interesting as well this offline mode that they seem to be touting and talking about um so yeah that is just kind of a roundup of everything free coins free um I was going to say free information, free coins, free trainers, and all the information that we have 100% confirmed, right? Now, I am going to do another video later on when I'm a little bit more awake, where we're going to talk about some other stuff um, that has kind of been rumored to be flying around, okay? If you guys would like to see that video, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to like and subscribe, and get in touch in the comments below, and let me know what you would like to see, let me know what you have heard, let, let me just, let's just have a discussion about it, I might go live later, and do a bit of a live stream covering everything on it, talk about all the rumors and stuff like that. But if you guys want that, let me know. So until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. Peace.